Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Olive's Academy. Uh, today we are going to look at uh, absorption and marginal costing. So before we start this, please uh, subscribe, share and like my channel so that uh, it will encourage me to post many videos in my channel. So this part of absorption costing and marginal costing is, co is mostly coming under the managerial accounts or management accounts. So uh, many students are struggling in this area to do certain things so that I'm going to explain you what we are going to do in this area. So uh, what are we going to do now in this area? So step by step we are going to do that. I have one question to explain the whole area very easily. So first of all, we are going to prepare profit or loss statement under marginal costing. And secondly, we are going to prepare profit or loss statement under absorption costing. And we are going to reconcile these two profits because we will be getting two different profits under different uh, ways of calculating the profits under each method so that we are going to show what is the reason for that. So we are going to do that using the profit reconciliation statement. Right. So if you want to understand about how uh, certain formulas or certain things are calculated like under or over absorption, you can view uh, my separate video on that I have put. You can I will give it in the link uh, in the description so you can just watch it. All right. So after saying about these steps, let's go into the area and let's see how it goes. All right. So under absorption and marginal costing, there are some considerations that we need to take into our calculation. Right. We cannot just calculate it as like uh, other calculations that we are doing it for profit or loss calculations here certain things are very important that we need to go through number one when it comes to inventory valuation so i will tell you in detail when i'm doing this question what is that inventory valuation so that the opening inventory closing inventory and the production quantity normally these three things, sorry, uh, these three things will come under the cost of sale. So, as we are calculating profit or loss statement, definitely there will be a cost of sale part. So, when you are in under the cost of sale part, there will be opening inventory, production, and the closing inventory. So, when you are valuing those inventories under marginal costing. How do you do that? What are the components that you need to combine or uh, you know uh, to, you, are, you have to get to calculate and arrive at the final valuation figure. So in the, when you are using marginal costing method to calculate your profit or loss you have to get the direct material here I have shown here. You have to get the direct material. DM means direct material. You have to get the direct material cost per unit. And you have to add that with the direct labor per hour. And plus direct expenses per unit. And VPOH means variable production overhead per unit. And fixed production overhead. Right, so you have to use this way of calculation in order to value your inventory. If you use absorption costing method to calculate your profit or loss, you have to get the direct material cost per unit plus you have to add the direct labor cost per unit and uh, direct expenses plus variable production overheads, whereas you don't add this fixed production overhead. Right, so 
there is small mistake that is you should not because i just purposely did this mistake because to let you know that you, you don't make a mistake all right so here fixed production overhead you don't add it to the marginal costing you have to add this to the very absorption costing right so under absorption costing only you have to validate that because purposely i did because students make a lot of uh, mistakes by doing the same thing so that's why i just want to be very clear so that i just told you about it okay so after considering that so the second rule is you have to calculate under or over absorption and you have to adjust it for. okay now under which method you have to calculate this under or over absorption only under the absorption costing method if you are calculating profit or loss statement under absorption costing method you have to calculate under or over absorption and you have to adjust that with the profit let me tell you later when we are doing the questions how how it works all right then formula to calculate your over or under absorption is you have to get the overhead absorbed and you have to get the actual overhead incurred and after that you get the difference of it you get under or over absorption right when you are going to get this overhead absorbed you get your OAR and multiply it by actual activity level or actual output level so this is how you work on that then if overhead absorbed i mean this part is greater than actual overhead incurred then that is cool your answer or your result will be over absorption if your overhead absorbed this part is less than the actual overhead incurred then your resultant will be under absorption which means what is this over and under absorption like for example this is calculated based on your predetermined OAR what is predetermined OAR that is already your OAR is already set based on your budgeted figures and budgeted activity levels right so you are using that OAR so I have given a detailed explanation of OAR in a different video you can watch that in my channel so that uh, you get this OAR and you calculate your overhead absorbed your predetermined OAR into actual activity level so you get how much overhead you have absorbed and how much overhead really incurred right you get the difference of it then you get your under or over absorption right then the third consideration that you need to look for is periodic cost periodic cost means you are not going to calculate per unit you are not going to do anything you just take the full cost the full cost and you just write off it or show it as an expense in your profit or loss statement so all non-production costs are periodic cost all non-production costs are periodic cost under absorption costing and all fixed cost fixed cost in the sense non-production cost and production cost together are period cost in marginal costing right after that uh, i have given a small uh, uh, classification or you can say that small comparison about the product cost and the period cost so under the product cost if you look at it uh, the under the absorption costing you have to do these things you have to add everything all these costs will come direct material plus direct labor direct expense plus variable production overhead plus fixed production overhead everything will be come as a component under the absorption costing and under the marginal costing 
you get everything, all the components except the fixed production overhead because that will not come there. Then periodic cost. Under the absorption costing, selling and distribution overhead. Everything is overhead. Right? So except the direct cost. So overhead has another name called indirect cost. So under the absorption cost, what do you consider as a write-off cost or a periodic cost that is selling and distribution overhead. So selling and distribution is not related to production. That is outside production. So production in the sense what are the costs that are incurred inside the factory. It's a factory cost we call it. So selling and distribution is outside the factory. It's not related to the fact so that we call it it is not related directly to the production so we call it as non-production cost so under absorption costing if you see any non-production cost you just take the full amount and you just uh, write off or show it as an expense in the income statement then under the marginal cost administration overhead Right, so in the only the administration overhead will be um, coming as a non-production cost, so that you have to show it as an expense. Okay, let's do a question so that you can understand more about it. 